Hi guys, this is Tina. Welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to make some of these um, little fabric stamp embellishments. Uh, this video has been inspired by Randy um, over at um, Speckled Seahorse. So I'm just kind of showing you the finished article now and then we'll go into the tutorial. Randy at Speckled Seahorse. Um, again, she's another video that I've, or another um, YouTuber that I have picked up recently following kind of my um you know uh my reflections on my youtube channel um video so you know i've subscribed to quite a few new ones and really enjoying kind of having a look at um you know some new kind of uh videos and things so check out her channel i will obviously link her below but she has been doing a um, bohemian journal and she's done the most beautiful fabric embellishments with her vintage stamps so I'm going to kind of um, give it a go now using some of my kind of collection of vintage stamps that I, you know, that I've got. Um, yeah, so let's get stuck in and kind of have a play. So if you're wanting to kind of do some of these yourself, um, you know, then obviously kind of check out her video because she has made absolutely amazing looking pieces. So I've just dug out to save a little bit of time um, some stamps that I thought I would use. There's this gorgeous one. Can't even see where that's actually from, to be perfectly honest. Oh, from Kenya. Sorry, it's in gold, and so the light was kind of just blocking it out. It's from Kenya. Um, thought it just went brilliantly with that background paper uh, fabric. It almost looks like it's the same as the stamp. So I'm just going to kind of cut that a bit like that. And I'll just cut it down the bottom as well, just so I've got a slightly more raggedy kind of effect on there. And then, I mean, she kind of layered hers on um, kind of different fabrics. So I'm going to just kind of do the same with mine. So I'm going to kind of pop it onto some lace. I've had lots of good responses to my um, faux postage stamps. Lots of people have popped over to um, Annalise's channel as well. So, um, yeah, hopefully you've all kind of been really enjoying kind of making some of those. They're good fun to make, aren't they? So I guess these are kind of similar thing in that, you know, they're quite a nice small tidy project that you can kind of just do. You know, you could kind of do this in front of the TV. Um you know, and then just kind of stitch them a bit later. So I'm going to stitch around mine um, in a minute. So first of all, I'm just going to kind of make a bunch. So I'm going to put them to the side, kind of just laying them out, and then I'm going to pop downstairs and stitch around them and then come back and kind of place the video, you know, piece it together. So that's one. I've got my gorgeous blue fabric going on here, which I've just picked up this little blue vintage postage stamp that I thought would just go brilliantly with this. Now she used lots of this kind of fabric um, because she was doing that boho kind of style so it just looked awesome with her um, her stamps so I'm you know <laughs> truly inspired by hers and I am not trying to kind of obviously mimic hers um, you know at all. Well I mean I am trying to mimic them but not not her bohemian style if you see what I mean but I did really love her colors that she was putting together so when I kind of saw it I thought oh that's a bit similar to the kind of meshy part of that fabric that I've got so I'm just going to kind of place that on there I'm going to pop this to one side because we might kind of come back to that and stick a couple of pieces on later and then I've got some of this vintage doily which I just thought if I use some of the solid kind of part, I can kind of pop it on there. So I'm just going to oops, cut around that. Like that. And across here. And I mean, again, I'm not trying to make these kind of perfectly square or anything like that, you know, because actually, you know, the more rustic I guess the better really because you're not going to be you know you don't want it to look like you've kind of spent hours trying to kind of get it perfect so I'm just 
pop in a bit of glue on to hold these in place so it's a bit easier when I come to sew them. And obviously because I've got to take them downstairs, I don't want them kind of flying around, you know, kind of flying off when I go downstairs. So I've got another one here in this kind of turquoise colour. And obviously I've got that gorgeous turquoise lace. So again, I thought kind of similar thing. That if I cut some of the more meshy kind of part, then, oops, you know, that's quite a good kind of match for this. So again, I'll just kind of take a section of that kind of mesh type bit. Oops. And again, I'll just pop that to the side because I might kind of do more with that when I, you know, once I've done this. So just, just trim that off. Um, I might actually ink this stamp up. I mean, this is a, a vintage stamp, but it's very white. So I would prefer that it's slightly kind of more aged looking. So I'm just going to kind of ink it up a little bit, just so it looks slightly more kind of grungy. Like that. And then I've got some other fabric here, which I thought might be ideal for this one. So again, I'm just going to kind of, you know, roughly kind of do this because I want it to look, you know, thready and kind of um, a bit kind of vintagey looking. So I'll just kind of do that. I just need to get rid of these um, little bits. I wonder if they actually pull off. Aha! They do. Right. So there's that and that. And pop that on there and just pop that down like that and again I just put some glue in just to kind of hold it in place really you know just for the stitching so that's that one pop that out to the side then I've just got kind of a variety here which I haven't kind of now picked fabrics and things to go with these so this may be slightly slightly more protracted but I have got however some of the ivory which you know hopefully should be a good safe bet because it should really go with everything so this is some of that ivory um, you know meshy sequin fabric so I just cut around that just trying to get in close as I can. So I mean if I kind of that brown one just pop that on there like that. So that's that one. Have I got enough mesh to do another one? Yep, just about. So I'll just cut around that. Yeah, I mean, she made hers really beautiful, I have to say. She put um, lots of beads and things like that on hers. Now, I probably won't do that on mine. Um, I'm not great with things like beads. I, uh, I find them quite fiddly to use and to work with. She didn't make it look fiddly. She made it look very easy. Um, but I would, you know, I think kind of struggle a little bit. So I'm not going to kind of do that, I think. But do check out her channel because, um, oh, lovely videos. Yeah, really nice journals, lovely videos. So, um, you know, as I say, I will link her below and, you know, pop, pop over and kind of check her out because I think, you know, you would really enjoy her kind of content as well. So, right. Just going to trim that down because as you can see it's massive. Okay. So that's kind of four then just on that ivory. So obviously want to kind of now do something else with them. I don't want them just on the ivory. You can't really even see it. I've got some lilac lace here, which we could pop that one on. So 
that kind of just picks that colour of the stamp up really nicely. Pop that on like that. Now obviously this lace is kind of quite floppy, so I wonder whether, and this stamp actually is kind of um, landscape rather than portrait, which I hadn't really kind of realised at first. So I'll put that like that, I think. So we've got that one. I'm trying to kind of do them on different fabrics, really, so that they're a little bit more interesting. Might have to do a kind of quite colourless one because um, I think that would look nice. So hold on, bear with me. It's a shame because that wasn't quite big enough. Again, I've just got kind of some scraps around my desk and I'm just kind of you know trying to use some of the scraps so let's just get rid of that cut this down just to make it slightly smaller pop that one I think on there and again I'm just going to kind of pop some glue oops pop some glue on there just to kind of keep it together a little bit one just do this one here now as I say I wonder whether I might need to put this one on something else to kind of stiffen it up slightly because um, the lace is very floppy I mean it probably doesn't really matter but I just wonder whether we need to so just have a look just some of that kind of cheesecloth-y type fabric so just cut around that you know again doesn't have to kind of go the full way or anything it's just to kind of um, have something slightly more solid kind of at the back of it really so I'll keep that like that and then I'll probably trim that bit off afterwards so that one's that We've got this one, which is really pretty. I wonder if that would go actually with that fabric. Mm, not sure about that actually. Uh, let's just have a look and see what I've got laying around. Always got an abundance of rubbish laying around on my desk, so no doubt I've got something that would be <laughs> that would be okay. Maybe even just that, to be honest. Yeah, probably just kind of like that, and I'll just trim this down. This is just more of that doily, but just kind of some I've used already. So that's that piece, and then final piece is this one just put that there uh, I have got this kind of peachy colour fabric um, again this is some vintage um, stuff that I was gifted by my friend at work so I just wonder whether that would kind of look okay on that kind of peachy colour background I know he's kind of a brown stamp but I just figure that actually if we kind of ink this peachy colour up, it would actually probably look quite nice. Now I just need to kind of check what this fabric is like, because I'm not sure whether this... I thought it might have been one of those fabrics that was very susceptible to kind of falling apart, but actually it looks pretty, pretty good. So I'm just going to kind of ink that up slightly, you know, so it's less peach and a bit more kind of brownie. glue on I'm now thinking maybe that one would have been better oh well we'll go for this one 
quite nice to kind of brighten it up anyway. Right, so I've got my actually seven, seven stamps now ready. So I'm just going to kind of pop them on this piece of paper, take them down to the sewing machine and then I will be back. Right, I'm back from the sewing machine now. So I've obviously got all of our little pieces here ready stitched to kind of decorate up and you know do some bits and bobs with. So I'm going to move my piece of paper there out to the side. So I'll just kind of do them one at a time I think rather than get kind of bogged down in trying to do them multiple at once. I'm still not very good at the whole um, you know making things in bulk and in fact it's you know it's positively something I really do need to work on so I may have to do um, some videos I think kind of on you know working on things multiple things at once because I really do struggle with that I don't know why I think um, you know I just kind of lose interest so I just kind of make one of something you know and then I want to do something else and um, you know that's obviously fine but it's not the most efficient thing to do so um yeah i might kind of have a think how i could kind of do some videos of um you know making multiple things so i mean that looks quite pretty just like that i'll just see whether i've got kind of anything else that would just go really nicely with this so maybe some flowers I was hoping I would have a kind of pink one that would just look good. Not this one. These are just those mulberry paper flowers. I like to just take them apart, which you've probably seen me do before. I don't always take them apart. If I'm making those mini albums, I tend to leave them. But for junk journals, they're kind of a little bit on the thick side, so they're kind of better to be just taken apart a bit so we could have that kind of maybe just like that so I might just ink that up slightly won't go too mad but just take the kind of bright white kind of bits off of that oh that looks better doesn't it instantly look better so I'm going to just use the hot glue because again that's just really nice and quick and then we're going to have a little bit of pearl, pearly trim, if I can actually get hold of it, like that, just glue that down, there we go, so that's our woo, first one completed, aren't they cute, can you see I'm now literally covered, covered in those hot glue threads, they're just all over me, oh, let me just get rid of them to the side in my bin, right, Okay, so that's our first one. I'm going to put them, as I do them, onto a kind of cleanish piece of paper so that at the end we can kind of look at them all. Right, we'll do our next one. So this one here, obviously, is that one that we've kind of double fabriced, you know, so it's got a slightly more thickness to it. So I'm just going to cut off a few of the threads. I don't mind some of the threads, um, you know, hanging around, but obviously, you know, this is kind of ridiculous. So practically more threads than actual piece so <laughs> there we go that's that one and then just see what we can kind of decorate that up with now I've got some Martha Stewart butterflies here that are kind of ready punched so we could kind of pop a little butterfly on this one that's quite sweet like that uh, should we just ink this one up a bit? And we'll just ink the butterfly up. Like that. Don't want to kind of cover the stamp up, obviously, but you know, I did want to kind of get that bit of. Um, all that butterfly kind of on there so just see whether we might have a little bit of diamante or we could have the diamante in the butterfly maybe like that 
have got some purple flowers here, so they may look okay with this. I've got these ones, or I've got that grape type colour. We'll just see which might look good. Oh, that one's nice, isn't it? So perhaps we'll have perhaps we'll have that kind of there. So I'll just again just use the hot glue, it's nice and quick wait then for it to dry and then I'm just going to pop that butterfly down I might now do the butterfly kind of going that way I think okay and then I'm just going to glue down the faux de Monte there in the middle Looking cute. Just raise them wings up a little bit. Okay. And then I wonder if we should have a little something in the middle of that flower. Just have a look. Maybe we could have a little pearly, pearly piece in the middle. So I hope everyone's having a good day. I can't say the sun is necessarily shining here. It's it's hot, it's humid. Um, it's feeling temperature wise a little bit more like summer. But I wouldn't really say it's what you'd call a kind of sunny summer's day. It's kind of um, seems a bit undecided at the moment whether it actually is going to come out or not. So. I can see the sun trying to kind of poke through, but it's quite hazy. There we go. That's another one. So I'm just going to pop that to one side. Okay. Seems it's all about stamps at the moment. So um, it's just kind of fluke, really, that this video happened to be, you know, one that caught my eye after those faux postage stamps you know, being so recent as well, but they're um, both really fun videos, so, and really great ideas, so I couldn't wait to kind of give them a go, really. So we've got this one. So again, I'll just see what I've got here. I've still got some of those little flowers that are just kind of in my little rubbish kind of pile from all that time ago. We could kind of just use one of those. Again, I'll just kind of ink that a little bit. Oops, I thought that was going to happen. I've just torn it. Well, it won't really notice once it's stuck down, hopefully. But just do. Kind of there. And I wonder whether we could have. Uh, I have still got that turquoise sequiny fabric so I know that um, on Randy's I mean she made beautiful ones and she had lots of kind of sequiny kind of bits I'm not sure that I can kind of incorporate that um, she was kind of doing quite a boho themed and I'm not sure you know I'm not sure that I can quite pull that off certainly not using this anyway so um we'll have a look see see whether i can but you know incorporate any of the sequiny kind of bit but that just looks a bit strange on there doesn't it Could have it kind of to the side or something see that now is just kind of monstrous in comparison to the stamp, I think. What does everyone else think? I'm not sure. Let me just stand up and kind of see how it looks looking down on it because sometimes that's a different perspective and kind of can look quite different. Mm. Just take it away while I'm standing looking down. I think it's probably better without, although feel like I want to be adventurous, so let's just go for this. 
sometimes you've just got to kind of push yourself outside of your comfort zone, haven't you? And um, just kind of do do what you wouldn't normally do. So there we go. Oops. Oh, that hot blue threads. I don't know what's going on with that. Sometimes it's worse than others, isn't it? I think probably it's worse today because it's quite humid. So it's kind of taking longer to dry maybe? Or something like that, I don't know. Definitely it seems worse than usual today, but that might just be my imagination, I'm not sure. Right, let's pop this little flower down. When I tore, Okay. I've been um, filming some videos, you know, to kind of upload over the summer, I'm trying to um, be quite organised now. So I've got some videos kind of, um, you know, ready to kind of put, put up over the summer. And um, yeah, so I'm probably going to be repeating myself a little bit in videos over the next you know few weeks because obviously I'm kind of filming them that I am uploading and I'm filming them that I'm not uploading yet so you may get repeats of my kind of conversations so uh, the reason I say that was because I was about to say oh I think we're going to go and see Toy Story 4 this evening um, and then as I went to say it I just thought I've got a feeling I might have said that in a video yesterday that I'd recorded so um if I did, but I don't upload it for a few weeks, then um, that's the reason why. It's, you know, not because I'm lying or whether it's not because I've been to see it multiple times, but it's because I've obviously kind of done the videos and then not uploaded them, you know, straight away because, um, yeah, obviously I want to kind of have a few ready. For whilst we're on holiday and um, also whilst you know the uh, kids are home in the holidays I mean you know not not my son obviously or my sons um, but my daughter you know because obviously she's only five so she's um, a little bit more demanding than they are so I mean it's a cute age isn't it five but they are kind of hard work at that age so um, she likes to be kind of entertained and um, yeah she's getting better actually to be fair she is kind of turning a corner and she is getting better but I mean they are kind of hard work at that age but but cute nonetheless she um, did the talent show at school last week I mean, I say talent show and I'm using that expression very, very, very loosely. <laughs> I just had a letter in her bag saying, oh, she's um, going to enter the talent competition. Uh, it wasn't, it wasn't a competition, sorry. The talent show. Um, please ensure your child comes in with their costume. And I thought, and it said, oh, she's chosen to do karate. Now she doesn't do karate, you know, she, she doesn't do karate. Um, so I thought, oh, what costume is she going to wear then? So I went in and saw her teacher and I just said, you know, I found the uh, slip in her bag saying that she'd entered, the, you know, the talent show and she was doing karate and could I, you know, make sure she comes with a costume? And I just kind of laughed. I said, you know, she doesn't do karate. Um, so she's not obviously got a costume. So the teacher just laughed and she said, oh, neither is um, the little girl she's doing it with. She also doesn't do karate and hasn't got a costume either. So I thought, oh, well, that's, you know, that's good. That's a relief. I mean, I did laugh and said to the teacher, I have no idea what she's going to choose to wear because um, that particular morning when she had got dressed, she's fiercely independent and, you know, likes to do kind of things herself. So, um when she had got herself dressed she sorry that was another one <laughs> um, I'm just going to put it on the side when she got herself dressed she had kind of buttoned her shirt up completely kind of wrong so all her buttons were kind of you know skew if and um, not buttoned up right at all or anything so as we were leaving for school I said to her oh you know darling your buttons aren't um, 
done up. You know, should we redo your shirt? She said to me, oh, mummy, it's not important. They're just buttons. So that's obviously her kind of opinion, really, is, you know, things kind of fall into categories. They're either important or they're not. Clearly, the buttons, they were not important. And, um, yeah, so... <laughs> So I did kind of say to the teacher, I have no idea what she's going to turn up in. So she um, chose to wear a dress, very unsuitable for karate. Um, I thought, oh, a bit, a bit unladylike, but I, you know, as it happens, she can't kick particularly high. So I thought, well, it's not going to be too unladylike because no one's really going to see anything because her kicks are not particularly high. So that was kind of a bit of luck, really. Um, but yeah, so she chose a little dress and, um, I mean, oh, as I said, using the word talent very loosely, really, but she thoroughly enjoyed herself. And obviously because, you know, they're in reception, you know, the audience really clapped them and kind of cheered them on. So, you know, <laughs> she thoroughly enjoyed herself and... I mean, that's what it's all about, isn't it? If you can't kind of feel confident and enjoy yourself when you're five, you know, when can you? So, um, yeah, good on her for kind of doing it. But she did she did make me laugh. And I did think, oh, gosh, that's one of those videos, you know, kind of because obviously we videoed it, um, you know, just on my husband's phone. And uh, I thought, oh, that's going to be one of those videos that, you know, when she's kind of 18... Will we keep dragging that out and showing everyone? She'll be kind of going mad saying, oh, mum, why did you let me do that? I'll say, well, you know, you wanted to do that. You couldn't wait to do it. So thoroughly enjoyed yourself. <laughs> and she did look super cute, I have to say. But yeah, she, um, well, I think there's things that she perhaps is kind of, uh, better able to do really than karate but I have no idea really what kind of made her choose karate I don't know whether the other little girl had kind of said she was doing karate and so then she kind of thought that sounded fun and you know decided to do it I'm not really sure but nonetheless she did do it and um yeah that's what it's all about isn't it kind of having fun and joining in so so good for her good for her See what's the right way up for that flower. I might just kind of layer those, I think, like that. Okay, and then this one. Oops. Yeah, as I say, I mean, Randy actually, she used. Um, uh, beads so you know those seed beads which I have got some of those but I do kind of find them very fiddly to use and I'm not sure that I I do love the boho journals please don't get me wrong you know when I kind of see other people's they're beautiful but it's not probably a natural style for me so yeah kind of um, I probably probably stick with kind of my my style which I'm not really too sure what I would describe it as but I don't think it's boho but there we go so there's that one and then we're on our final one so just kind of cut the threads off so do you see you know how these would be really great for kind of just whilst you're watching tv in the evening because you could just kind of layer them up one evening kind of and just put some glue in to just hold them in place slightly Maybe stitch them the next day, you know, whilst people aren't watching TV, so you're not kind of ruining their viewing. And then, um, you know, the evening, kind of, you know, the following evening, you could kind of just have your little um, odds and ends and kind of then, you know, glue some bits and pieces onto them and kind of decorate them up. So, you know, I think they're really quite kind of fun to do in just to kind of, you know, that downtime. Um, you know what watching tv kind of time 
And talking of that, I know that Sherry um, from Turquoise Dreaming, she has been doing some videos on TV crafts. And um, I know that she's done some before of kind of craft ideas for when you're traveling, which is brilliant, you know, great idea. So, um, but I, I did happen to catch, she had a video with TV crafts and I think she was talking about kind of doing a few of them. Um, with different TV crafts. So again, it's worth checking out her channel. That's Sherry Turquoise Dreaming. Um, you know, because, uh, I mean, I don't know about you guys, but I really like having something to do when I'm watching TV because, uh, you know, often it's just rubbish TV, isn't it, that you're watching. So uh, sometimes, sometimes we're watching good things, but quite often it's, uh, you know, things that certainly they don't require your full, you know, undivided attention. You know, they're things that you can just kind of glance up every now and then. So um, if that's the case, I do like to kind of have something on my lap kind of doing at the same time. And obviously kind of smaller projects, they're just ideal, aren't they? Because, um, oops, saves you, well, saves you taking everything down with you or, you know, into the TV area with you. So, there we go. Right, okay, so I'm going to now pull in my piece of paper with all of my little pieces that I've made so far. So, there they are. I think they all look quite different, actually. Um, you know, they've all got quite a unique look. Oops, let me just come lower down so you can actually see them all. I didn't realise quite how close up I was to the camera there. So, really fun, cute idea, aren't they? And, um, yeah, just really nice. I think they would look kind of really cute, just stuck on the bottom of a page. They're a bit like my kind of button fabric embellishments, but obviously they're using the, you know, the vintage postage stamps. I mean, as I say, I cannot claim these to be my idea, but I, you know, I'm thrilled to be able to kind of share this idea and have a go. So I hope that you all give some a go. I think they're really fun to do. And um, yeah, go and check out uh, Randy's channel and um, have a look at hers because hers are really, really beautiful. So um, yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you all again soon. Thanks then. Bye.